my grandfather was from Sweden, he was a carpenter, uh, and my mom grew up in New York City in Brooklyn. But uh, I've got a lot of his tools. My mom kind of uh, was the woodworker in the family, and we had a shop in the basement. So I was playing there with the. She never let me use the power tools, even when I got into college. But, um, you know, rasps and saws and wood and anything I could put together um, just to make things. I did not train as an artist. I've got a civil engineering degree, which probably helps with building. Um, and you try to use that in the art, but it also helps with, uh, with making some money. Using the, the skills you've, you've learned in the wood shop and as an artist and um, kind of putting it all together in a very package. It's just been the last uh, little while I've been using the term maker and I just thought that fit after all these years. That's really what describes what I do more than artist or craftsman. Uh, this kind of thing that happens with your own work, like, like I said, sometimes you, uh, you see something you've done, you see the uh, you know, things that you would change about it, would have done differently. There are certain pieces um, that, um, you know, you hit it just right for, for you. It's, it's always a very individual experience. Um, there are certain pieces that you've done that when you look at them, it's like looking, it's, it's not personal, it's something that somebody else has done. You know, you get that same kind of reaction. Um, and it kind of takes your own personality out of it. There's just something about that's a nice piece of art that has hit that thing that's in you that attracts you to art. You know, the feeling when you, you get when you might see a you know Van Gogh or something. It's just there's an emotional reaction to uh, to a piece of art or a play or a movie. Um, and when you can get that reaction out of something um, you've done, it divorces it from the, from the technical things that you've struggled with. I think that's when I know I've got something that's, that's really good. If there was just one piece that, um, you know, people remember, um, you don't to me, I don't, I don't, you know, need to have a whole catalog written or a, a big group of art. If there was just one piece that, uh, you know, people appreciate and it continues on, um, that would be plenty.